know, Brent, uh, I know you've told the story before in various places, but if you could recount, maybe you have a different perspective now that Kevin's the head coach on the other sideline. 2008, the uh, implementation of the hurry up offense, he was kind of one of the innovators of what we're seeing nationwide now. Can you kind of recount that? And I, I understand you were involved in the approval or, or declining of what <laughs> Not much. Yeah, yeah. I just happened to be um, in the general area code. Uh, but, um, you, know, you know, Kevin had a background at, you know, Northwestern with Randy Walker. And all the success, if we remember, you know, that was always a feel-good story. Uh, you know, the David versus Goliath. It seemed like every time Northwestern was playing, they were, they were taking somebody to the wire or beating, you know, one of the uh, blue bloods of college football. So he has a, a great lineage and uh, a great experience. Uh, somebody that was never afraid to try something new, and uh, but uh, he and Coach Stoops and the other offensive coaches, um, you know, decided, hey, look, some, some of these people are doing a few of these fastball plays. You had a package of two or three fastball plays. You'd put three people into the boundary, and you'd run a toss sweep, and then maybe you'd run a fake toss and a double post wheel and maybe you throw a fade route or a slant or something to the to the field and uh you know a fastball package so you got a fastball defense you know well they took it to another level and it wasn't a bunch of quick short throws they i remember specifically coach stu says you need to go fast and run four verticals because that really wasn't a popular thing to do and uh, so, it and again, then they, I think they used the personnel and created all kinds of different for formations out of the same personnel grouping and really put defenses, you know, on their heels and couldn't do your sub packages and things of that nature. So, at the time, you know, it was a really uh, big time challenge. And then you add to it the quality of the players that were involved, uh, the accuracy of you know, Sam Bradford and the weapons that he had on offense and their skill, whether it was Jermaine, uh, you know, DeMarco, all these, he had playmakers everywhere. And, uh, but there was also, you know, great detail and precision and a lot of thought that was put into how we do what we do. And um, I was just glad they were on our team. And, uh, but it was a lot of fun to watch, you know, that maturation and, some ways evolution not a, again there's been tempo and no huddle for a very long time well before then but uh, in, the, in the college football game with what we were doing and the personnel that we were doing it with and the variety of the things it wasn't just the run and shoot it was they getting high backs with the same personnel and then they can get an empty and just blister you with whatever they were doing talking with Coach Wilson, he weaves OU stories in and out of his press conferences when talking about his team at Tulsa. Curious, you've hit on it a little bit today, but maybe any other stories from your time with Coach Wilson that stand out to you? Is this uh, is this PG thirteen? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. And we had a lot of good times. Uh, a lot of good times. Our families, our kids, growing up. That's the coaching profession, and. Uh, this is a wonderful community to raise your families. And uh, I know it was really hard, you know, different coaches taking different opportunities. I don't think any of those opportunities, whether it was Chuck Long going to San Diego State or Mike going to Arizona or Mangino going to Kansas or, you know, Kevin leaving to go to Indiana, Jay Norvell leaving. I mean, I don't think any of that was probably easy for anybody. Uh, but just a lot of great memories uh, on and off the field. It was genuine. Uh, the coaches um, that were a part of Bob Stoops' staff uh, because of his leadership. He nurtured family and relationships, and it's all of us together. You know, Coach Stoops is one of the most humble human beings, you know, on this planet. That's the facts. And, you know, the byproduct of that is just a, a, a wonderful, connected environment that everybody in their families benefited from. And I think you could be, you know, I think people felt free to, to um, in the, from the coaching side to, to do their thing, if you will, and be successful, you know, as a, as a result.